This is a t test of the H2N. This is at a distance probably of about six or eight feet, and I just wanted to get a good idea of the noise uh, off axis, the idea that I get a good pickup. Um, it is a bit windy out, and hopefully that sounds uh, pretty good even from this distance. And then we'll check out the, the new shore. Ambient sound. This is the Shure uh, lens hopper, and uh, I'm checking this out too from the same location, uh, probably around the neighborhood of uh, six to eight feet away from the camera. And we're looking again to see what the pickup is like and how that sounds, and uh, see if it's uh, substantially different from the Zoom uh, XY H2N uh, stereo piece. Hopefully that, uh, I'm talking fairly softly, not really loud. There is a plane flying overhead, and we'll see if that uh, gets picked up quite a bit. All right? Okay. This is a test of the lens hopper uh, 83F at 12 feet, 12 feet from the camera lens. Uh, pointing forward, we're going to compare that at 12 feet with the zoom H2N. Uh, just trying to get a good feel and, and understanding the pickup pattern of this particular microphone. And right now it is only recording uh, directly into the Lumix. There is no uh, recording to the sound card uh, separately at this point. All right, and ambient sound. And hopefully that picks up pretty good. Now recording to the Zoom H2N at, at 12 feet from the camera. The H2N is at a, at the number five for gain. And I think I used uh, about 20 gain on the uh, lens hopper. So this is a little bit of a comparison there. I tried to look in the screen to see roughly if they were equal uh, in terms of the number of bars on the uh, FC1000. Uh, I'm not monitoring this right now, so what you, you're gonna see is if the uh, comparison of the sort of tonality and the pickup pattern are similar between these two microphones and how they actually uh, compare. So. Uh, go ahead and listen to the ambient sound. And we're still about to get 12 feet away. Okay, now I'm standing at the 8 foot mark right now. This is 8 feet away from the camera. Uh, we are recording now to both the uh, FZ-1000 and recording to the internal card of the uh, lens hopper 83 uh, f and i just want to get a good idea about the lens pickup uh, not the lens pickup but the sound pickup from this distance here uh, as i'm just sort of deciding between the zoom h2n which i've had for quite a while and then using a sound recorder uh, combination microphone with the with the shure and uh, hopefully this will give me a better idea and for anybody else that's looking at this video an idea about what these two sound like and how what you can expect if you were to purchase these. Again, this is at um, the eight foot mark and I know that on the, uh, I got the low cut uh, filter on right now and it's got a plus 30 dB on the, on the shore right now. It is quite windy out too. I do have the uh, wind uh, sock on top of it or the dead cat on top of it. Okay, standing at the uh, eight foot mark again. Now we are listening to the zoomed H2N. Uh, there's a plane overhead, unfortunately, and I probably can come out and reduce again. But we're just trying again to discover the pickup, the pattern, the overall tonality, the quality, the sound, the difference between this and the Shure uh, Lens Hopper 83F. Uh, this is again at eight feet from the camera. Uh, the zoom, um, I believe I put it at the mic gain of about six and uh, it is recording into the FC-1000 Panasonic. And so you'll be able to compare the two uh, microphones sort of side by side. It is quite windy out here, and hopefully the uh, pickup is uh, still pretty good. 
um, the Zoom does have a dead cat on top to help with some of that uh, wind noise that we might be experiencing. So uh, I'm going to take this back into the computer in a minute and check it out and see what the difference is between these two microphones recording into the camera and of course um, right now with the Zoom H2N it's recording to the SD card and the camera at the same time and just we'll sync that up with uh, Pluralize and we'll have a good idea of what, uh, what we're listening to. And here's some ambient sound to compare. Hi guys, um, back uh, from outside and um, just had run a few things through Final Cut Pro and I'm going to share that with you in a minute. The, um, the Shure is I think a more neutral sounding uh, microphone over the uh, H2N. Also at a distance, the H2N, um, you definitely start to hear a little bit of the uh, XY axis differential in pickup, especially around that 12 foot mark. I think um, also the Shure is maybe a bit more natural sounding. People say it sounds sort of thin. I think it's probably a little bit more natural. And I'm going to apply a preset that I did um, in Final Cut Pro uh, previously for this uh, microphone, which brings up the bass. And you'll hear that um, the actual voice sounds um, very similar to the H2N in that, in that case. Uh, both are really great mics, obviously. Um, the H2N does um, a little bit worse in the uh, wind as well. Even though we're filming in a uh, XY uh, pattern outside, um, it did a, wasn't able to reject the wind noise quite as much as the um, as the Shure uh, as the Shure did. And and the camera both had uh, the settings of, of uh, wind noise rejection in inside as well. So it was set to standard on the FZ. Um, 1000 uh, camera and I believe that's also on the GH4. Right now I'm using a GH4 uh, on the inside just to, to pop the um, card in and out is a pain in the butt with uh, um, the FZ1000 when I'm doing a little short thing in and out like this. Anyway, both great microphones. Um, I think I have to give the nod um, for a run and gun kind of situation or just um, uh, repeated sets, that kind of stuff to um, the Shure. Um, I think that um, the zoom does have a little bit more bass to it, a little bit more boomy to start with. So if you want to mess with any settings, maybe that'll ultimately be your choice. But um, it's easy to recommend um, either of them. Uh, I would also keep the zoom a little bit closer than uh, 12 feet. I don't think I'd maybe want to go past 8 feet necessarily with the zoom, as you can start to hear that um, differential, uh, differentiation separation from the different mics because the sound's hitting it at different speeds. All right, um, that is my summation. Oh, um, I'm gonna, again, again, in a second, go ahead and play you a cleaned up little clip from outside with uh, the Shure, and you can see how that um, comes out a little bit less, quote, thin or tinny, and you'll see that it is actually recording in a very neutral way to start with. That allows you that flexibility, I think. If you start to have a mic that's too boomy to start with and you then you have to kind of clean it up or back it off a little bit, I think it's probably a, maybe it's a bit harder thing to do. And I'm not a sound engineer, I don't play one on TV, but it's just my impression of just editing stuff. Okay, thanks. This is the Shure uh, lens hopper, and uh, I'm checking this out too from the same location, uh, probably around the neighborhood of uh, six to eight feet away from the camera. And we're looking again to see what the pickup is like and how that sounds, and uh, see if it's uh, substantially different from the Zoom uh, XY H2N uh, stereo piece. Hopefully that, uh, yeah, I'm talking fairly softly, not really loud. There is a plane flying overhead and we'll see if that uh, gets picked up. <laughs> 